Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Attingham Park. I am down at the shop because we need to get some stones picked up. That way I can spread lime at a later point once we've converted them all into lime. Now, the item I want us to get is a mod. Now, I don't know how realistic slash unrealistic this is. That's a 550, this is a 710. I mean, it looks like it's probably unrealistic, but maybe it's not. But this is what we're going to lease. It's going to cost us a fair amount of money. But here we go. This is what we're now going to use. We are going to get some stones picked. Now I have a plan for what I want us to do with the money that we've just suddenly got. Now we didn't just magically get this money. We did earn it, but yes, I have a plan. Um, I don't want to tell you the plan just yet though, because I don't know if there's enough time in this episode to do it. So for now, I'm going to get myself over to the yard, um, or to the field in fact, and we can get these stones picked up, and I will see you there. Okay, so we've got a lot of weeds in this field, like a lot. Um, now I am going to put this guy onto a course, but I just I want to give it a go first. I want to see how how big this really is because it looks pretty monstrous. I'm not sure what the capacity is. It could be that he runs out of um, he runs out of capacity quite quickly. But this seems to be doing okay. This isn't too bad. Um, I can probably turn that off. Okay. Right. So now what I'm going to do then, I'm going to lift him up and turn him off. I'm going to make a quick course and I'll be back. So I have the course set up here. He is actually going to be going on the same sections that we just did. But that's okay. <coughs> Excuse the roughness of my voice. I, uh, I had a bit of a, a long night. Okay. So... He normally tells me... Okay, he's going to take 34 minutes real time. That's fine. Let's see how he gets on. What we now need to do is we need to hop over to this guy who is parked... Yeah, okay. He's parked over here by the straw because that's where I left him. That's, that's fine. It makes sense. Um, now, we are going to need our sprayer. And I also want to put down the spikes. There's no need for them. We may also need to, um, ah, driving too fast. We may also have to um, take the Land Rover down there with some spray on the back. And I'm hoping not, I'm hoping that we actually are gonna have enough because it's not a very big field. Having said that, it is a field that actually requires us to do some uh, some work. In terms of, it, it's not like a soybean plant uh, field, it's a field that actually does need work doing in it. So, we'll see, we'll see what we've got. I think we've probably got a herbicide in here as well. No hoses? Okay. No, we don't, actually. We're good. Oh, yeah. We should pick him up. That would be why we're skidding around. Okay, and let's just... We'll use super strength to drag a pallet out. We want one of these. In fact, I didn't even turn super strength on then. Let's get that filled. Okay, so we are going to need super strength for this one. This is actually good though, because what this means is, if we run out, we could just buy another one from down at the uh, down at the shop, and we keep this because it's got 14. Uh, it's still got a lot in there, I suppose. I don't know. I'll decide when I'm down there. For now, it's going to be another jump cut, 
because I need to get over to that field so we can actually start doing this work. So we're still able to use all tyres and tracks, which is good. And I think we're going to have to get in here with the herbicide sprayer later. Well, this is it's this sprayer actually. This is for herbicide as well. But yes, I think we're going to have to get in later to remedy that. For now though, let's just get this started. And yeah, we're not going to go all the way back. And I'm not sure if, well, maybe we'll get the land over up here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. For now, we're going to do this as a little time lapse. That's enough time lapsing now. Uh, all I can say is thank goodness I've got that map because I cannot see where I've been and where I have not been. Uh, I need to start creating tram lines. <coughs> there is a mod for that. Um, the difficulty I find is just trying to work out exactly where the tram line should be. That's the only problem. The actual process of using the mod, at least in 19. It's really very simple. But yes, trying to actually work out where you're supposed to be, uh, um, where you should put the tram lines in, you know, which row should have a tram line, that's where I had issues. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure there's some simple maths for it, but I never took the time to try and work it out, which is my own fault. So, you probably would have noticed a little pop-up that said the tool needed to be unloaded. I did unload the worker. He had only managed to make it one and one and a tenth 
around the headland. So really going to take quite a long time. But that is good because it means he's got stuff. We've got plenty of stones that we can then use for the uh, line. The bad thing is that it means it's going to take a while, quite a while. So I'm going to end up doing it off camera. Now I really, really want to tell you about the plan for next time, but I can't. I have to wait. Because I tell you, it will just spoil the surprise. It will. I think it I think it's a good plan. I know it's going to have problems. I know exactly that I'm going to really struggle with certain parts of it. But it will be doable. Definitely doable. Now, what we need to do um, next, I think, is we need to look at the, the animals and give them some bales. Let's have a quick look while he's driving. I wish it wouldn't do that, but I do have to put auto save on for the, for the series. So they could do with some, and the sheep, oh wow, the sheep really need some, oops, ah, I'm pressing all the wrong keys. Right, back to the yard. So I've got a fresh grass bale, and I know previously I've said that we can't use fresh grass bales, but if I hop out, so right control, right shift F, we can see sheep, protein silage, grass fresh counts. Uh, it doesn't count as roughage, but it counts, so basically exactly like the cows, supposedly. But I don't know if this is actually correct, which is why I've brought a bale down, and we can try it. Because if this works, it's great news. I do also have all of the... Uh... It did work! I was going to say, I have some, some feed still left over. That's, that's great news that that worked. So they're still going to need roughage, and I think what we'll do is we'll grab some hay. We have a lot of hay in here in this ridiculous, next to this ridiculous pile of fresh maize, which I am going to have to actually take some of this fresh maize and put it into the bunker, because there's just too much of it at the moment. It's a little bit ridiculous how much I have. Well, let's drop this hay off for them. Good sheep, not trying to escape. Very good. Don't know if they'll take this whole bale. We'll find out though. I do also have a lot of silage over there to feed them. <coughs> Which I think I should probably try and get rid of that silage. So, they took the hay. They will still take more food. Um, so, let's... Let's drop the fork off. <clears throat> because I can do this. Now. Because to be honest, we don't have anything else to do. The worker is cracking on with the stones. Um, I have actually... I've emptied him three times now, so that's 7,500 he's collected. And I think he's only about a quarter, no, he's about a third of the way through. So there's still a lot more, a lot more that he needs to actually get. Now I thought I'd set my joystick up. I had this feeling that I did it, but clearly not. Because it would be working if I had set it up properly. So that's 2,000 litres. I think that's probably going to be too much. But if it is, we'll just tip it back in. And this is, I think this is going to be mainly what winter is used for, for us. We're just going to be keeping these cows, these animals, topped up. Okay, so yeah, won't take it all. I do need to give some water as well, but I'm going to have to do that afterwards, I think. Because I don't want to be messing around taking the weight off for no reason. Um, so I'll do the water off camera, maybe. Now let's check on the cows. So the sheep, they are good. They're going to need some more moisture and power food, but not yet. The cows, what do they need? So it looks like a couple of bales of fresh grass would actually be enough to keep these cows moving along. And we've got, we've got a fair amount of milk that we can sell as well. 
You know what? I said that <coughs> about the weight, and I've now changed my mind. Just drop it down. Disconnect. Because I'm. I. Normally I don't have a clue how long my videos are going to be, but I had to take a little break to have some dinner, and because of that, I actually edited the first part of this that I recorded, so I know exactly how long this video is right now. Okay, there's no hoses to connect. That's good. I should just be able to back this up. Well, try not to make a real mess. I hope this works. It has done before. There we go. Are they going to take it all? Looks like it. Yes. And... Oh, but that's almost filled them, so... I don't need to give them any more. Not today. They will require some more on another day, though. And that's that food we saw just there. I'm flicking the camera around, I apologise. Yes, yeah, so that's the food that they're interested in. What we um, saw just there. Okay, so, pop you off, oops, I'm going to put this back under here, because he's not needed again now, there we go, grab that weight and the fork, <coughs> and head over to the cows. Perfect. Uh, I should really turn the light on in my room. <laughs> I'm struggling to actually see what it is that I'm pressing. Okay. So now we are ready to go. And the stone picker needs to be unloaded once again. There is just so much, so many, so many stones on that field. <clears throat> so yeah, grass I think is the aim of the game. Maybe we'll chuck in a hay bale or two as well, but I think grass for now. We will have maize silage as well, but the maize silage I'm planning on just set, using that for selling, not for anything else. So. Unfortunately, I have left that bucket in a rather awkward place. Uh, but my JCB is up here, so I could I could go and move it. It would make a lot of sense. And now we'll just we'll deal with this. Can't believe I gave them two hundred and fifty odd liters of. Um, 50,000 litres of uh, straw and it still wasn't enough. Oh, nope, too much. These are the bigger bales. So we can only do one at a time. Even that is a challenge, it seems. Oh, oh, oh. Oof. It's like when I was watching Clarkson's farm the other day and he was doing wheelies. They, they looked terrifying, the wheelies he was doing. Alright, and now how are we doing now? Okay, we'll give them a little bit more. We'll keep the hay. The good thing is, we will not have to make any hay next year anytime soon because we just we have so much in storage so so much okay so this should be the last one we won't need any more after this I'm not sure how long the food is meant to last them for oh, looks like they didn't take everything actually 
How much is left in that bale? I think we're going to leave it there. 11.05. That'll be gone by the morning. So, close the gate up. Try not to spike myself in the head. And I'm just going to come and pop this guy over here out of the way. And the last thing we will do in this episode is to come over here where we will turn him off, fold that up, and we'll go and unload him. Come on, choppy chop. It's a, it's a heavy load. But this will be 10,000 litres I've dropped off. Plus, we did already have um, uh, the, the, we did already have some stones in there. So we must be looking somewhere around 11, 12,000 liters at the moment, and there are still more stones to be collected. Plus, we have that field there, the cornfield which still needs to be cultivated, so there'll be stones coming from there. I think that will be the job for next time, is to get that cultivated. That way we can return this guy as soon as possible. Because I'm going to have to keep this until next day. Um, although I need to look at the weather, actually. Because at the moment it's due to snow today. And the weather forecast says snow later on, yes. And then tomorrow is looking sunny, so actually, we're get, getting a pretty mild um, winter here. Right, I'm going to go and put him back onto his course and carry on. Um, but that is going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. So I thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.